Hey YouTubers, um, just a quick update on the kitchen here. I uh, got the, uh, I, I'm not sure, but I don't think my video yesterday, I'm taking a detour here, I don't think my video yesterday uploaded. So, just a quick update, got the dark stain, it's a stain and sealer in one by Minwax, uh, put on all three bedrooms, up the hall, here in the living room, and the dining room. <clears throat> So we're one step closer in there. And so what I'm doing, or what I did today, was I got uh, three quarter inch sub flooring tongue and groove and got it put in. This side had to be cut. You see that I had to make a cut here along the edge uh, to uh, get the old flooring out. So it wasn't quite 48 inches left. And then this one was uh, almost the full 48 inches. I had to cut a piece of the groove off. So we've still got the tongue and groove connection here, and it's real solid. That's a good thing. Uh, came down the middle here with uh, with screws to attach it to the uh, to the uh, subflooring to the two by fours that were setting tar down there. And I insulated this wall out here. Got finished with the plumbing. I had to redo the drain here. There's a two inch pipe, steel pipe, that comes up in here and then cuts over and then goes up out the roof. And so I tied into that for the breather for the, uh, for the sink drain, got the sheetrock put in. So all of that is uh, insulated back there uh, behind this new sheetrock. And then I got some insulation in here. Redid the plumbing for the, the or the drain for the washing machine. So I'm, I'm going to do this with spray foam. I know I've got a can at home. I'm going to probably have to get another can or two. Uh, and then I reoriented uh, this box. It was turned sideways. Uh, so I got it straight now. And then once the sheetrock is on here, then I'll get that installed. So a lot of taping and floating. And taping and floating is probably something I would do. Well, it is definitely something I'd rather leave to someone else, but not going to happen. Took down the uh, broken track light. My former tenants broke that. I mean, how do you break a track light? Uh, and got a vent in place or a vent uh, filter in place over the uh, vent fan. And that's kind of it. That's my update for today. It feels like it shouldn't have taken as long, but I was by myself. So uh, it's all good. I'm out.